Hello. We're here to show you today how to format your MLA research paper properly, and it's going to be pretty quick. We use the iPad, which makes it a little kind of hinky sometimes because it's not intuitive, I think, as it would be on, say, a full keyboard and a full computer. But let's give it a shot. First thing, I have a document here that I have used. I've typed through it, as you can see. It's my whole document. It's about the god Poseidon, and it's all single-spaced. I have my work cited at the end. If you noticed, I even have um, my inline citations there. There's another one here. There's another one over here and up here. So I've had my inline citations all done. I don't have a title and I don't have anything formatted. First thing I'm going to do is go to the more button up here, the very those three little dots, and I'm gonna click on them. And then I'm gonna make sure print layout has been chosen. When I do that, I now notice there's a space up here at the very top, this white space. And what I wanna do is just double tap up there. When I do that, you might notice that there's this line, this little line. That shows you the difference between the body and the header. Anything you type in the header is going to show up on every single page that you type. So that's where we're going to put your last name. And this guy's last name is Joe Sprock. And then, okay, we'll call him Joe Sprocket. That works too. And then we're going to go to the plus symbol up here. And we're going to select page number. It's the last choice. You have to scroll down to the bottom. And then we'll take this first choice to the left. And now we have um, his author's last name and then we have the page number and you'll see there it is again down here on page two and so on the next thing we should do is get out of that by tapping in here again on this and let's type in uh in the body we've got the cursor above the line above so it's one line above the text and i'm going to type in joe's name joe sprocket and then i'm going to type in mr burby and i'm going to type in ela i'm going to say the date which is going to be um let's say 3 25 19. that's good then i press enter a couple of times next thing i want to do is go center up here press that center button and i'm going to give this a title and i'm going to call it Poseidon. Okay, there you go. I'm not even going to put a space there. I don't need it because now I'm going to properly space everything. I do that by selecting all. I'm holding down now uh, anywhere on the body text to select all. And now I'm going to go up here to the A, the letter A. I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to choose over here um, where it says line spacing. I'm going to go up to 2. 0 .00, and that's what I want. Now I can look at that, and I can say, okay, let's look at our paper. Okay, this is looking good. Everything's double-spaced. I have my inline citations. Uh, I have my name at the top. I have page numbers. Oh, that's a four-page paper. Very nice. And now I have this works cited thing going on over here, and I think everyone should have a works cited on a separate page from the body of the text. So we're going to put our cursor right here after the last word, and press enter, and we go back up here to my plus symbol, and I'm going to put a page break right here, page break. Now that put everything back down on my second page. And that's how it should be. I wanted to, you to notice that everything here is in alphabetical order. So we start with D and then we have PRS. Um, this probably, oh, this one looks like it needs to be moved. So I can select that and I can copy it and I can put it up here. Oh, maybe it's already there. Let me double check. Sometimes you put things in twice. Oh, didn't want those. To get rid of those and push this here and do press and paste maybe it'll even work there we go yep there we go that works pretty well so now i can get rid of this trailing space with the rick riordan because formatting is what this is all about so now it's in alphabetical order and i can get rid of this last one down here and basically if you type them in in, in any order that's not alphabetical you can just go back in and move it around and copy and paste to your heart's delight once this is done it should look kind of like this one does and you can please refer to the sample papers we put in every room as well okay 
Thank you very much.